Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to my Crusader Kings 2 series where today we are of course still playing as the most serene Republic of Amalfi with our slightly aged Prince Mare Maros the Cruel and we are at war, though sadly not a war of our own choosing. We are allied with Aquitaine, we've got packs and royal marriage ties with them and so we have been pulled into their conquest of Mezwarid, which I mean is going to be a really, really easy war. This is all that is left of the Mezwarid, and they cannot even handle their own freaking revolt, which has been going on for years now. Ever since we took the city of Tunis from them, they have been fighting this damnable revolt, and yeah, it's uh, kind of been a thorn in my side, honestly, as I've wanted to take some things in Africa too, but with the whole revolt thing, I want just one solid target to go after, and I've also been kind of taking apart Spoleto. <laughs> yes, Spoleto, you will be mine. All of you will be mine. Uh, but yes, we are about to send over one of our armies over to, I guess we'll land on Tunis, which would be good to occupy, because Tunis, my trade post there, has made me, like, zero money for quite a while now, because it's, it's just... Uh, it's been sieged. It's been sieged by the Mezwari revolt literally for years. Because that is all the Mezwaried family has. Or lands here. Or is that even... No, is that... Oh, no, that's a host army. I thought that that was the Mezwaried. Now, that is Prince Niptazen's host. Wow. Oh. Where the hell's the Mezwaried army? Do they even have an army anymore? Or have they been completely devastated by the revolt? Huh. Also, what's going on in Aquitaine over here? Who's... who is it? Oh, a little revolt is there. Wait, hold on. Oh, Toulouse and Revolt. Okay. So they're just revolting on that island, huh? Okay, fair enough. Good for you. Well, let's um, pause and get our military moving now that I'm done staring at things that I haven't noticed. <laughs> oh, yes, we need to actually... Add the fleet to the ships. Oh, God, no, stop clicking on the county. Select the army. Who do I have commanding? You will do well. You there, you there. Beautiful. And this. we've already embarked them on the boats. Lovely. Let us land here. Are, are you? Damn it, we were not embarked on the boats. I thought we were embarked on the boats. Oh, uh, God. Okay, okay. Do they need to land? They need to land. <laughs> Comedy of errors here today, folks. Comedy of errors. Lovely. Okay, you. Why can I not embark? Oh, God. Is it because I, I don't have enough boats? <sighs> you. Raise your fleet. That should be enough. Okay, on pause. Oh. What the hell is this? Thanks to my diplomatic skill, the smuggler's ring in our uh, ap Abrutium has been destroyed. The head of the last smuggler is now rotting on a pile outside the city gates. Excellent! I didn't even know that there were smugglers there, but fair enough. We will take them, merge them. Now you embark. There we freaking go. Oh, dear lord. And just land in Tunis. We have our city there, which is nice and safe. So let's just roll... It's actually going to be a while until the Aquitaine military... Co oh, God, what's this? Lord Mayor Arrakis of Foja has given... Uh, God, uh, the... Hold on, hold on, let's read this. Has given me bizarre and repulsive evidence concerning Bishop Ferald of Aquino's sexual preferences. <gasps> Medieval shock and chagrin. How should I use this juicy information? We could expose and denounce him publicly. Do we dislike him? No, he's actually one of the few people who we like, and likes us. Ha! Ha! <laughs> and he does have the bishopric there. I'll just keep this information myself, because he actually likes me, and not a lot of my vassals do. Because <laughs> I'm not the greatest of rulers, honestly. Okay, you, I don't need you anymore, at least for now. Oh god, actually, go back, just to be sure, because if you, if you disband them outside of a port you own, they, it, you lose some of the ships, and I know I own Tunis, but at the same time, I'm worried because it's occupied by other people. 
Uh, okay, now go away. Oh, Lord. Oh, hey, we got our next claim. Awesome. Oh, uh, and this person has inherited a, bo a barony from this person. Okay, fair enough. Have fun with that. And, of course, I'm going to use it. Wait, which one is this one? Ravenna. Ah, yes, that's where we had him. Use it. Excellent. Now, I'm oh, and it just revolted. <laughs> Immediate revolt. Okay, I'm gonna piss him off now and go after his capital. Boom. <laughs> oh, lovely. All right, and we still got this Byzantine revolt over here that I need to keep an eye on because good things may happen for us from that. Sicily may break away as a separate kingdom, and then, then we focus on conquering them. Oh yes, glorious day. Okay, oh, you. Actually, come and join our army now, now that you're <laughs> large enough. Oh, who's this? Another friend. Oh, Brittany's in this war. Oh, lovely. Oh, God, Mezwarid, you are screwed. <laughs> like, I mean, there's, there's just no words for how screwed you are. You have the glorious Amalfi Republic, the most serene Amalfi Republic, Plus Aquitaine and their whole kingdom, plus the kingdom of Brittany, which ain't too shabby considering they got that stuff up there and all this down here. You screwed. <laughs> Do you even have, like, one friend? Oh, I doubt it. Let's uh, hover over that. Merge and a child without a focus. Who are you, a kinsman? All right, let's, uh, what the hell, pride. I like pride. Actually, no, you go thrift. And do you, Mezwarid, have any allies? You don't, and you are just a 12-year-old child. Ah, <laughs> uh, you are boned. How will I have 0% contribution? Look at what I'm doing right now. I have a, th a nearly 4,000-man army sieging out territory. And you say I have zero contribution? You, sir. You, sir, lie. Oh, maybe it's because I haven't actually done any work yet. I haven't taken anything. Let's wait to see what happens when the siege ends. But yeah, I got troops right on in here. Oh my god, five, six thousand from uh, Brittany. Looks like about four thousand or so from Aquitaine themselves. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, Mezwarid are screwed. <laughs> Poor bastards. Hey, victory! Yay! Yeah, there we go. So we need to actually do something there. So we have 4%. We have done things. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm just going to continue to siege out Tunis because, yeah. I mean, I'm sieging technically my own territory here. But, eh. <laughs> we can at least take it away from the Mezwarid revolt. I mean, that's, that's what I'm doing. But, eh, I can live with that. Oh, hello. Our knowledge of majesty in Capua has increased to two. Oh, yay, majesty. Who doesn't like majesty? It's a majestic thing. Oh, so Spoleto's gonna have their little revolt. I'm gonna take that from them, though. <laughs> oh, Spoleto, you're screwed. I'm gonna dismantle the crap out of you. Oh, yes, I was still gonna give away this county to someone else in my family, but I never decided who I wanted to give it to. I need to find someone else in my lineage who's closely related. But, oh god, you're all dead. <laughs> oh god, no, no, this button. Uh, you guys are in another dynasty. You're there. You, 26 year old. We do <gasps> Oh, I think, oh yes, this is what happened at the end of the last episode, wasn't it? That um, my, I don't know, one of my bloodline wanted me to help kill him. I think I... Oh, no, 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 we're, we're trying to kill another person. Or wait, or is he the person I'm backing the plot with? Kill Widow Maro. Yes, yes, we are trying to kill him. <laughs> I decided because he's my son and to keep him on my good side, I'd join his plot with him. Though, dear God, man, you are chaste and shrewd. Uh, I mean, shrewd's all right, but detached priest. The chaste thing is what annoys me. Have children! You're 33, and we're in medieval Europe. You and your wife need to start, you know, getting it on. She's strong. She is plus 10% fertility. Elusive Shadow, Brawny, Gregarious. 
damn you and being chased. Start sleeping around. I don't know. We need more people in the family. Or else I'm going to not help you and give the thing to Weedo. <laughs> or go with this young with a... Uh... Who are you? What title do you have? Oh, Barony of Taino. Oh, yes. I remember giving... Ah, oh, yeah. I remember that now. Uh, excellent. Do we have anyone else who's closely related? No, that's my kids. Uh, ooh. Seiko, do you have any other good relatives? So from Vaco, Wafer must go. Arrakis, do you have, uh, he's clergy. <laughs> Wafer, you had a girl. Ima. Ah, ah, yes. Yes, I've married you off into the, into, uh, the lands way over here. <laughs> Okay, I'll, I'll have to go and look for that later. But yeah, we, we need to hand that over to someone else so I can stop with the demence oversized thing. And unpause and back to war. God, I wish I wouldn't have been on a pause for that whole thing. But oh well, what are you going to do? But yes, now that we know that we can't hand those over. So any of the ones with a castle, even if it says it's going to be a grand city, I can still hand over and it will stay within the family. Which is good. Oh, hello. Oh my god, you already got it? Oh, holy crap, 617. You know what? I'm gonna... I'm gonna let that one go for now. Oh god, I don't want to let it go. <laughs> Is it because it's his capital? Is that why it's so expensive? What's my prestige? How much prestige am I gonna lose for that? Oh, I've got plenty of prestige. Look at that. 1300 Ah, oh, it's easy. Use it. I'm more annoyed about the money I lost. I'm way more annoyed about that. And with that, you stop doing those things and improve diplomatic relations with the Pope. Because <laughs> uh, I'm going to ask the Pope for some cash. Can we just go ahead and do that now? We cannot at the moment because he does not have the money. Okay, okay. That is, that is depressing. I need the Pope, to, the Pope to give me some cash. Hopefully he will. Hopefully this new Pope likes me. I also should probably put him in Amalfi to help with my relations with my vassals, but okay, you, kinswoman. Uh, let's make you... Etiquette. Yes. Wonderful. We have, almost have another siege done. Yes! <clears throat> and then we move on to other war. A nice 20%. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, you poor child. You are just getting annihilated. <laughs> oh, it's being that's being held by so-and-so's host, which is unfortunate because we can't actually do anything to them. I wish we could. Oh no, the Pope has died! And he's been succeeded by Pope Clemens II. Hi, new Pope, do you like me? Oh, I can't ask for money yet because he still doesn't have cash. Damn. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, oh, oh my god! Sicily freed themselves! Oh, holy crap! They took stuff over here. They broke up some of the Byzantine territories here. Because the Byzantines were all up in this. Oh my god, yeah, this this all used to be connected in here. So they must have joined in with the revolt and got loose. Sicily's there. Sicily has that. Oh. Oh, we have a um we have a claim on that that we can instantly take. Uh, a ducal claim. And he is independent. Do you have packs? Merely non-aggression. Well, we know who we're attacking next. <laughs> oh, Sicily, you fool. You, my friend, are now at my whims, frankly. Yep, I'm giving up on Spoleto. Well, no, I still want to take this stuff in Spoleto. We have the claims, we'll hold on to them. But yeah, that's my next war. I want the heel of the boot of Italy. Oh my god, it worked. They did it. They actually did it. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Screw you, Byzantine Empire. 
Oh my god, I can't believe that. And these here. That's impressive. That's uh that's a little bit too close to comfort for the <laughs> to Constantinople there. Oh my god. And I don't know how these guys got loose, but I guess they just joined in the war and got their freedom with it like what this this guy did. And you, you are part of the kingdom of Sicily. And of course, so is Sicily, and we have many cities down here that we could take from them. And that's what we're going to do. Even if we... Oh, God, hold on. I'm going to do something over here. Even if we don't like the family... Like, that's Musco. Musco, Musco. Actually, dear God, it's all Musco. We're going to hand them over to them. The cities. Because it will help grow our strength. I will try and take the counties from them. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we'll just... We'll see how that goes. But what is this? My liege, I've tried to make Pope Clement... Oh, God, you... You... Oh. Damn it. Damn it, Constantius of Polkarios. You know what? You've made the Pope dislike me. You're no longer going to be in Rome. Hold on, Paul... Oh, God, hold on. What is this? Raiders have showed up. Oh, we got plenty of force to deal with them. Uh, you need a commander, though. We'll make you... Kill! Actually, see where they're going to go first, because they seem to be moving, then we'll kill. And you... No. But actually... Oh, I kind of want to put them down there. No, no, no. Do what you're doing, improve relations, but with people in Amalfi, in the court. Because I could use some help there. And I'm glad I did leave this army back here. Oh, hello! My network of spies in Zeta... Where the crap is Zeta? Uh, found out that a local noble is a homosexual. What should I do with this information? Well, I don't care. So what? Oh, Zeta, over here. <laughs> okay. Why do we have a... Are we? Oh, because I was trying to kill a guy. I've completely forgot my spy master's there. <laughs> We were trying to kill the king of Sicily, um, or the despot at the time. I forgot about that entirely. That was like three episodes ago. Oh, uh, let's blackmail him. What the hell? <laughs> okay, let's wait for this little quest chain to end. I'm going to see if I can get some nice cash out of it or something. Oh, Sicily, you are going to be engulfed in the Amalfi Republic. Oh, looks like those raiders are moving out of my territory. Oh, and being fought. Oh, no. Help the host of them. Oh, it's a Constantios army. A famous writer proposes to compose a family chronicle. So we could give him patronage, which gives him some cash and gives us prestige, and we get proud. Or we can ignore him. Everyone hates us. Nope, but we get humble. Screw that. I'm proud. I'm damn proud of my family lineage. We have conquered Italy. Well, we've conquered the south of Italy. And we're moving up. We're, mo we're moving northward. <laughs> Slowly but surely. Okay, you no longer command that army. I don't care about you anymore. I just needed someone there temporarily. Oh, Sicily. Oh. Ah, lost gold. Damn. Oh, God. How's the Republic? Oh, uh, thank God. It's still us. It's still us. <laughs> By not much, though. Not a very wide margin, which is unfortunate. I need to keep a good, close eye on that. Ugh. God, do I really want to make the Musco family so powerful, though, by giving them cities? I mean, it would mean easy Cassus Belli's. But at the same time... I mean, seriously, we could take almost the entirety of Sicily. Is that one of ours? Hold on, hold on. Nope, that's Musco, too. Damn it. <laughs> Who's this down here? Oh, Tribuno. Oh, hey, we built our grand library. Beautiful, beautiful. I mean, yeah, this would seriously make the Musco family a lot more powerful. They'd be on par with us, frankly. Well, kind of. They'd be kind of close. But still, nonetheless, it would probably be the best option because it's, it's easy cast to spell eyes. Uh, I'm actually going to pull my army back now and disband it because I just don't care. <laughs> So, Salerno, raise your ships. Amalfi, raise your ships. 
Maples, you, you same thing, same deal. Uh, you guys all meet there in Capua. I believe that should be enough. <clears throat> oh god, we're actually only at 55% on this war? Oh, screw it, let's go help. Oh god, what else serve we have here? So that's not all sieged. Let's go finish this one then. Fine, let's help. Oh god. Never mind on the ships. <laughs> I was going to pull him away because I thought we were further along in the war because it looked like so much territory was, you know, sieged. But, unfortunately, it seems like they have not been paying much attention to their sieges and only grabbing like one thing. Well, this one, Aquitaine really did siege the crap out of these. And this one, unfortunately, is with that other guy. Is that the target of the war? Oh, this is just a holy war. Second Aquitanian holy war for Algier. Oh... Hmm. Hmm. Okay. You are my next target, you single one county little bastard. Yes. Yes, you will pay. <laughs> Just gotta make sure you don't get any um, alliances in here. Non-aggression packs are cool. I'm alright with that. But anything more substantial, and that would be unfortunate. You only have one child to marry off so he could potentially get an alliance with someone oh the Pope has died oh thank god he died because of course he didn't like us very much hi will you give me money no <laughs> oh man that is unfortunate why won't he give me money oh it went away oh oh yeah now he doesn't have the money Hey, victory! Woo! How <laughs> much as we got left? So with two more sieges here. Oh, bless. The Mesoarid Revolt isn't going very well. Oh, is, who's doing things down here now? Sicily! Interesting. That's Venice trade port. Why is the king of Sicily in here? Sicilian Holy War for Triplatania. Alright, interesting, interesting. Oh no! Someone died! A courtier, meh. <laughs> oh god, multiple things in here. All things I don't give a crap about. Oh, hello. Tulanid Sultanate. Oh, you're probably actually going to join this. Oh yeah, you're probably fighting Sicily on this one, because this Holy War... Damn it. Oh, it's him in prison. Oh my god, I forgot I have him in my prison. <laughs> See the only one I have in my prison? I do. Let's ransom him. I want money. 25. Harm indeed. Oh well. Oh, who oh no. our, our guy died, but thank god we still had the Prince Mare thing. Oh, uh, thank crap we checked that earlier. <laughs> God. Okay, we've died again. Wow, this guy really didn't last long at all, did he? 60 of natural causes. Long live Prince Mare Arrakis. Okay, so be it. Oh, oh God, no, that means we lost our alliances. Son of a bitch. <laughs> God. Okay, my brother is now my heir. I've been elected the new Prince Mayor, blah blah blah, and no longer Spymaster. Yeah. Victory! A victory that we can no longer use. Damn it. So I'm not allied with Aquitaine anymore. Oh, God. Hmm. Man, I hate when that happens. Now I've got to redo all that marriage crap again, and I don't know who in the world I'm going to marry off. Oh, Lord, let's just get our boats. Oh, God, you have... No oh, oh, guys, guys, that really annoys me, actually. All right, all the ships there, all the ships there. Oh, Lord, that was too many ships. Far too many ships. We don't need 70. We don't even need... Okay, okay, okay. You know what? You disband. Yes. You split in half. Okay, you... Yeah, oh, God, we need, a we need more split. Uh, split in half. Them. You go here. And then, then, hold on. 
I need to cycle through them. You go here. Okay. And whoever's left is the one I disband. Beautiful. Disband. You guys combine. Oh, God. Go to two knees. Oh, and all the stuff we just helped them do is now gone. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> Damn it, CK2. Why must you always do this to me? Uh, my prisoner, Bishop Ingr... Oh. Oh, because I died before he could accept the ransom. Um. Huh. You know, I'll do this. It'll help his relations with me a bit. Yeah, what the hell. And he owes me a favor. Good. All right, army, let's embark. Everyone go to Salerno so I don't get it mixed up with my main ar uh, army right there. And then disband you all. Like it always should be. Okay, disband and fleet disband. There we go. Oh, God. Oh, God. And I got to do a new council thing. My spy master. Who's my best spy? 13. You know, you're at 10, which isn't too bad, and you're a powerful vassal. That would be well enough. You go study technology in Constantinople. There we go. Uh, let's actually look through these real quick. You guys are all very nice. Anyone in here that would be better? 9. You're a 14. Oh, yeah, you. And you, research cultural tech, continue to do that here in Amalfi. How old is this guy? 45. Okay, so we're pretty young. Oh, Lord. And my next guy is... Hmm. <laughs> Alright, you got kids, which is good. I'm gonna give you... Our... Aperitium. Aperitium. There. Oh, God. That's horrible pronunciation. We're giving you that to the Grand City. Lovely. Lovely. And I also should give someone in the family Fogia. My son, perhaps. Oh, my son. My son! Can you marry into Aquitaine? Duchess of where? Oh, Bulgarian. Meh. Oh, God, guys. I'm going to have to do all this crap off camera again. <laughs> Oh, God. Okay, do we have any? We are currently on an intrigue focus. I don't want an intrigue focus. I'm going to go business focus because city vassal opinion. Grant land to an unlanded son. I'll keep that for now because I am actually going to give him Fogia. Oh, God, but it'll be in the city and he'll lose it immediately. But oh, well, screw it. Um, yes. Oh, wait, is that us there? No. Oh. Hmm. This used to belong to another person in the family. I guess it's his now. Fair enough. Oh, God. Yeah, we have 11 of 9. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, yeah, we need to lose some things. And we need to declare war with him. You know what I'm actually going to do before he gets any packs? Let's declare war! <laughs> well, we are going to do the du jour claim of the entire place because, yeah, that's what I want. Uh, and he has no pack, so he just let's just double check this. He has no alliances, just non-aggression treaties. He is tiny and minuscule. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Boom. And that'll be next episode. So... <laughs> We have yet another Prince Mare. Uh, we still control Amalfi. I need to get some money together to put into a campaign fund for my brother, apparently. Ooh, or give him a title. What does he have? Oh, he has a county. Oh, I just gave him that county. I just gave him that. Good. So that'll help him get some prestige, which is always a good thing. And then I need to just pump a crap load of money into the campaign fund. Or kill off my rivals. 83%. I kind of like those odds. But yes, that is going to be it for today, folks. I hope you all have enjoyed, and of course that you do come back for the next episode. But until that time, thank you for watching, and as always, have a good one.